Okay, so let's take a look at our final self-learning challenge from week three. So this is a follow-on from challenges one and two. So again, we're going to be working with reading data in from a CSV file. Um, so the challenge is saying if we take another look at moviedb.csv, we can see that there are different types of data within it. So we've got some textual or string data in it, and we've also got um, some numeric data in there. So let's just take a quick look as a refresher. So you can see, for example, that the title is string data, it's textual information about the title of the movie, um, and then the other types of information are numeric. So we've got some integer, so we've got a mix of integer values, such as year and Metacritic score, and then we've got some float values such as the budget and the box office. So if we go back to our tab. Uh, so it's, what, what the challenge is telling us is at the moment, that data that you read in is all of type string. So if we go over to spider, um, and we, this is our code from the previous challenge, let's run it. And here's our result. And what we can see if we look at the Amazing Spider-Man row is that the ID is a string because it's got the single quotes around it. Um, so is the budget, the box office takings, the year, and the Metacritic score. So we can't actually do any type of um, calculation with that. So we can't, for example, search for movies that had um, a, a budget over 200 million, for example, or we can't take the average box office takings across those because it's all textual information. It's not quantitative data. Um, so your challenge is to read the data into a Python list and convert it to the correct data type given the above information. Um, and it also says there are several ways to complete this challenge. So this is actually quite a hard challenge. So the first thing to do is just think about how do we convert between data types? So we've already seen this earlier in the course, um, but let's quickly go through it again. So I'm going to type in Python convert string to int. Okay, so actually we don't even need to go into any of our hits because our search engine flows froze up the information here. And if you remember, there's a built-in function within Python called int, and that's the Python standard built-in function to convert a string into an integer value. So we know, we know how to convert a string into an int. Um, we can also ask how do we convert a string into a float. And you can see that there is a similar function called float, where if we have a value, a variable called a with a, a string value of uh, five four five point two 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 two, um, and then we call the float function, that that outputs a numeric quantitative piece of data. So that's how we do our conversion. If we go, to, but we need to do that for all rows. Okay, so let's go to our spider code. So I've added a little bit of information here, which is just. Um, some information about each of the data types that we want to create. So we're going to need to edit um, this row here. So instead of reading things in directly as a list, list we're, going to, we're going to iterate, we're going to loop through the reader object. Um, and each time we iterate, we're going to call a function that we pass in that particular row from the reader object and that performs the conversion for us. So I'm going to create an empty list. So now movie list is an empty list. So if you remember, this is the notation for list. And when you don't want any data in it to start off with, um, you, just get, you just do uh, open square brackets and close square brackets. And I'm going to delete this line here. What I'm first of all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a loop. I'm going to say for row in reader print row. Okay, and I'll just comment out these two lines and just show you what we get when we do this. 
Okay, so we get the same answer. So basically, this isn't a this isn't a list within Python, but we every time we iterate through Reader, it returns a list which is the row, that particular row within um, the uh, the CSV file. So the first time we iterate, we get the Amazing Spider-Man row, then we go back round, and the second time we get the Iron Man row, and so on. And you can see that each of those values is a um, is a string. So instead of printing that out, what we could say is we could say movie list dot append row. So this is what we've learned in class that you can actually iterate um, through something and dynamically add values to a list by using the lists append function. And then we can print that movie list out. So let's do that. And there we do, we get the same answer, but this time, this data is actually a list of lists stored within Python. But now that we've got this loop in there, we can actually do some interesting things. So instead of directly passing that row into the movie list, we could actually call a function um, that would allow us to convert all of those data values within it to the correct format, correct data type, using the int and float functions that we've just found by searching. So I'm going to create a function called convert. Let's call it convert row. And that's going to take a keyword argument called row. And what we're going to do is we're going to return a new list. And that new list is going to be the correct data types. So if we want to do that, what we need to do is say um, new list. Um, and what we're going to do is the, we're going to look and match the data types here to the indexes within row. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a list. And the first value in that list is ID. And that is int. So we're going to convert um, the ID column into an integer because the ID column is stored within index zero within row. Then we're going to do the same, the same for title, but we don't actually need to do any conversion there because it's already a string. So I'm just going to say row one. Then budget is a float. Then box office is a float, so let's return float. Oops. And that's contained in index three. And then year is an int, so the next function we're going to call is int, and we're going to pass in row index four. And then the next item is Metacritic score, which is an int. Um, and that is in row index five. So what we've done is we've passed in an individual row as we're looping through here. So let's write that in there. Convert row. And then we've created a new list. And we're going to return that new list. And it's that new list which has the correct type of data types in it that's going to be appended to our movie list. And then we're going to print that out at the end. So it looks very similar, but if you look closely, what you can see is in our, in our original function, um, everything is of type string. But now when we look down to our new output, we can see that the ID column, for example, are integers. The titles of the movies are still strings, but then the budget, um, the takings, the year, and the Metacritic score are all quantitative data. So you can see, for example, that the budget is 230 million. So quite a hard challenge, um, but it required a bit of lateral thinking and applying what you'd already learnt within the course. So that was basically reading data in for a CSV, applying a loop to that, 
creating a function and using the basic conversion type conversion functions that are built into Python. So, as I said, there are various ways to solve this. Um, so in the exercise solutions this week, um, I have included um, a slightly more sophisticated solution to this for you to take a look at. Um, now this makes use of um, another function called convert row, but it also takes a, um, as a keyword argument, the, a list of converters. So here you can see, as well as the my list, um, list we've created a data types list and that contains all of the types that we want to convert to and um, so when we call the convert row function we pass in those data types plus the row um, and then the convert row function makes use of something called a list comprehension uh, which is a, a kind of a fancy loop using this written specifically for lists uh, and it also makes use of this zip function so this is a reasonably sophisticated solution to this problem uh, and I'm going to leave that for um, a self-learning challenge for you guys to take a look at.